In this video, let us see what is an abstract data type. When you talk about abstract data type, you talk about something that models a data type. And by modeling a data type, we say that it describes the data properties and the operations that can be done on that type of data. Now, abstract data type is actually a theoretical concept. And if you want to implement an abstract data type, you should use a data structure. So a data structure is basically an implementation of an abstract data type. Now let us look at an example of an abstract data type. So you have this abstract data type of integer. We said that abstract data type basically describes the properties and the operations of that type of data. So how would you describe an integer? Well, an integer can be negative or positive. So we have positive and negative numbers as integers. And what operations can be performed on an integer? Well, you can perform addition and subtraction. You can perform multiplication as well as division. Now, abstract data types can also specify the constraints on operations. So in this case, the constraint is that you cannot divide an integer by zero. So you now know what's an abstract data type. It's something that describes the type of data, describes the properties of the data, and it describes what operations you can perform on a data. It does not talk about how to perform these operations or how to implement these operations or how to implement the properties of this data that task is done by data structures so we'll see about data structures in the next topic and this video was about abstract data type